with one of the best looking economies since the downturn, this year is shaping up to be a good year. Here's how you can make it a great one. One, resolve to get out of the truck. If you remain on the truck, you limit yourselves to a mechanic's wage. A mechanic doesn't make enough to endure the liability hassles, paperwork, and hours of business ownership. So get out of the truck and grow your business. Two, resolve to learn your numbers. You should know your way around a balance sheet, income statement, cash flow statement, budget, and cash flow budget. Operating a business without a good understanding of your numbers is like trying to find an address in an unfamiliar city without a map, GPS, or street signs. If that's you, correct it ASAP. Call Mike Bohens at Keeping Score, KeepingScoreCPA.com. Mike is a CPA who grew up in a plumbing and air conditioning company. He knows the numbers and he knows the business. He can help you analyze your numbers and work with your bookkeeper or even your CPA to make sure the statements are prepared the right way for the plumbing or air conditioning industry. Not every CPA understands service businesses well enough to assemble good financial statements for one. Now, your financial statements are not the only numbers you need. You should be aware of key business ratios and industry metrics. These are like the gauges and warning lights in your trucks. They let you know if things are about to spin out of control or break down. Three, resolve to network in your community. Believe it or not, a lot of people in your community would call a plumber or air conditioning company tomorrow if they only knew who to call. They don't even know someone who knows who to call. This is why you network. Now, the average Facebook user over the age of 35 has 182 friends on the social networking site. So if you join a service club like Rotary, Lions, Kiwanis, or Optimus that has 65 members, you'll be one step away from 11,830 people if each one of those has 182 people in their personal networks. So get involved with the Chamber of Commerce, a pure networking or lead generation group, the High School Booster Club, and more. Four, resolve to get involved with an industry group. If you don't know where to get industry metrics, join an industry group. Why reinvent the wheel? Why go it alone? Benefit from the experience of other contractors so you can avoid their mistakes. Check out the Service Roundtable and the Service Nation Alliance in particular. Five, resolve to market. Unless you actively market your business, you're winking in the dark. You may know what you're doing, but no one else does. Lay out a full year calendar and make sure you have at least one marketing initiative planned for every week of the year. Make sure your website communicates the message you want and is optimized for the search engines. Complete Google's profile for your business and encourage your customers to review you. Start blogging and spreading the blog posts through social media. Collect customer email addresses and send them useful information or discounts once per month. Identify prime neighborhoods based on past business and begin targeted direct mail campaigns to those neighborhoods. Prepare door hangers to cloverleaf around houses where you conduct service calls. Rent yards by paying customers $10, that's a discount, to allow you to place a small yard sign in their yard for a month following a service call. Review your existing service agreement and update it if necessary. Now, if you lack a service agreement, create one. The Service Roundtable has ready-to-use service agreement templates that can save you a lot of time. Now, make sure your service agreement adds value to the homeowner. Check the appearance of your service personnel. Is everyone in uniform, neat, clean, groomed, and professional looking? Replace the vendor gimme caps with company apparel. Review your truck ID program. Make sure you're following good branding and graphic design guidelines. Don't drive a white truck. Now, if not, work with a wrap vendor to come up with a bold new appearance for your company. Six, resolve to enhance your offering. Find one new product to add to your portfolio and promote over the coming year. Ideally, you'll pick something that's discretionary that people will want to buy whether an existing product is broken or not. Now, here are some examples that a plumber might choose. Solar water heating systems, tankless water heaters, rainwater collection and irrigation, water alarms, RO systems, handicap or elderly products like walk-in baths, grab bars, and elevated toilets, and on and on. Seven, resolve to leave the industry better than you found it. When you become successful, you have a responsibility and an obligation to give back. Almost certainly someone helped you, so you should help others. Give back to your community and your industry. Mentor other contractors. Help people learn from your experiences.